Hello everyone, welcome back to my class of financial management. In this class, I'm going to deal with risk and return trade-off. I'm Dr. Indraini Karti. You know, the risk and return trade-off is a fundamental concept in field of finance that explores the relationship between the potential for gains, that is return, and the level of risk associated with the investment or financial decision. As all of you know that the basic objective of financial management is to maximize the value of a firm, right? That is wealth maximization you have learned in the earlier class, okay? Which is possible only when well-balanced financial decisions are made. As all of you know that financial decisions are of three types, okay? So what are those? Financing decision, investment decision, and dividend decision, okay? So here, you know, uh, a well balance is to be maintained by the financial manager while making all these three decisions. So the management should try to maximize the average profit while maximizing the return. That you will get to know what exactly the risk and return trade off is. Okay. So here, you know, you can see this side the risk is there and the return is there. Both go hand in hand. If you would like to maximize the return, obviously you will have to bear the risk, right? So risk tolerance, the level of risk tolerance should be more if you would like to maximize the return of an organization, okay? So risk and return trade-off is the relationship between the risk of investing and the expected or potential return from the same, okay? So the relationship between these two aspects of investment is known as risk and return trade-off. So we need to balance both the things, you know, uh, uh, looking to the uh, risk tolerance appetite, okay? So looking to that, we'll have to expect the return. It means what? Uh, uh, there is a more risk. Risk means what? There is a chance of losing the revenue also. Whatever we have expected the return, we may not get it also, right? But obviously, if you uh, with well-planned, uh, preparation and all, if you take a higher risk, higher amount of return is also associated with same, okay? So the relationship between these two itself is known as risk and return trade-off. The theory deals with how much an investor is willing to risk in order to increase the chances of higher return, okay? So here, you know, you can, you will better understand here the amount of risk, you know, from here to here, uh, lower risk is there. That's why the return is also lower. If a company takes higher amount of risk, okay, the higher return also it is associated with, right? So that's why the company should have to balance these risk and return. Then only it is possible to bring the company or uh, attain the organizational goal as well as the company will be in a position to maximize the wealth of our organization. That is, value of share can also be maximized, okay? So with this brief introduction, I can tell you that there is a requirement of balancing the risk as well as return, right? The management should try to maximize the average profit while minimizing the risk, okay? So it has to look at what is the amount of risk in this. So to maximize the return, to a certain extent, the company should be in a position to minimize the risk, okay? The projects pos uh, promoting, you know, so some uh, some projects are there. They're very much promising, okay? The projects which are promising a high average profit are generally accomplished by the high risk. Managers should ex accept such projects only if they will induce an increase in the stock price. This is very important, you know? Stock price is to be maximized. If the company is able to maximize the stock price, automatically wealth of an organization is also going to be maximized. It is known as higher the return projects only if they will induce an increase, right? So if it is known that uh, it is higher the return, other things being equal, higher the market value also and vice versa. If the company takes higher amount of risk, it is going to increase the return also. That return is associated with a share value, okay? So that's why more focus is made in the financial management is on wealth maximization. To maximize the return of the equity shareholders, that is owners, that is in the form of 
uh, three decisions, you know, financing decision, investing decision, and dividend decision. Okay. So all these three decisions are to be made properly, looking to the pros and cons, okay, cost and return, considering all these concepts, the company should have to make the decisions. Here I conclude the risk and return trade-off. Thank you very much. If you have any kind of queries, please feel free to comment it in the comment box. Thank you. I will see you in the next video.